Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download Plex for Mac. So this is the local macOS client for Plex, which is going to perform a lot better than using the web version of Plex. It's going to have some additional features which aren't available for the standard web Plex. So I'm going to show you the entire process, downloading and installing this for Mac, and then setting up with your Plex server. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the Plex website, plex.tv. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Then we'll mouse over the download section here. And then we have the option here to get the app. So we don't want the Plex Media Server because assuming that you've already set a Plex Media Server up or you have access to one already, what we want to do is to go to the desktop version here, just click on here. And then here we've got the option here to download multiple clients for different operating systems. So we have Plex here, which is a universal application, and this is Plex for Mac. That's kind of what we want. We don't want this, which is these, basically the server portion of Plex. If you wanted to download other operating systems too, you can download this for say Windows, but here we are installing on Mac. So now we're gonna click the download universal button and then it's gonna download a zip file for us here. So once that's complete, we're gonna to go to finder and then go to the downloads folder and then find our download here. We're gonna double click on the zip file here to extract it. And then we have our Plex app here. We're gonna drag and drop this into our applications folder and then let go. And then within applications, we're gonna scroll down until we find Plex. So just scroll down a bit more. And then here we have Plex, we're gonna double click. Here it says Plex is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we wanna open it? Press open. Now Plex has opened up. And what we wanna do here is to sign into our account. You can of course use this with local servers, but it's probably best to sign in so that we can take advantage of more of the features. I'm gonna press sign in button here, and press sign in. Here we're gonna click on sign into our account. We've now signed in successfully. That's because I was already signed into the Plex.tv website. Here we can now close the window here. And now we can see that the home screen is empty, but what we're gonna do is to connect to our server here. So because I have already set up my account with my NAS, I can already see the films and videos that are on my server. So one of the cool features of using the local Plex software rather than the Plex web interface is the fact that if you have say a Plex pass, then it means that we are able to do downloads locally onto the computer using the Plex interface. So for example, here, I'm gonna press the download button and this allows us to download a copy of this video. If you go to settings as well and you get a download, you can change the bit rates and the resolutions. For example, if we wanted to compress the files a little bit, we can change the video quality to say high. And now if I go to my download section, I've got my film downloaded here. I can press play and then basically this is all working correctly locally. I don't need to necessarily be connected to the internet for this to now work. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.